Hello everybody, my name is Cyber Aqua and welcome to a game called Minotaur made by U7 Community, I think, if I remember correctly. Yes, I did play this game back a year or two ago as a demo. It's a point and click type game. And now it's early access on Steam. Well, it's been like a year or so ago and I forgot about it. I did buy it, but I completely forgot about it. So yeah, I actually sat down and I was like, I actually feel like playing a game, but then I saw Minotaur, and I was like, okay, no, you know what, screw it, let's play Minotaur. Like, I, I know there's one complete path now for Nord, this guy, I remember. And, hopefully, I can get ahead, Mr. I know last Pikes. time. Oh yeah, I have to start from here Mr. again. Mr. Pikes. Yes, hello, Ollie. Nod. Uh, no. Ugh. I forgot how to do that. My head hurts. Sure it does. Of course it does. <sighs> you slept for so long and you still reek of booze. Booze. How can you tell, Ollie? I never installed any smell receptors. They're called olfactory receptors. And I don't need to smell. I can practically see it. Anyway, mm -hmm. you have to pull yourself together and head out. Your night shift at the factory starts in half an hour. Oh, uh, what? Oh, crap. Why didn't you wake me up earlier? By my calculations, 30 minutes is just enough. Just barely, barely. enough. <laughs> you really need some tuning, Ollie. But you're right, I have to get going. My boss will never get off my ass. Uh, right, okay, um... Uh, I know... What is this, workbench? So, Mr. Pikes, any word on that outfitter's license? I'm right, working on it, Ollie. You know it's expensive. How do you even manage to find clients for weapon enhancements without the permit? Uh, black market. <laughs> I'm just that good, I guess. Yeah, and I guess all your clients have special reasons to work with someone who doesn't keep official records. Hmm, that's interesting. Right click or use the area of the button. Okay, screwdriver, I need Still that. Still looking around, Mr. Pikes? You really don't have much time. You need to concentrate to do whatever it is you're doing faster. Do you know how to concentrate? No, I do not. I just rather I do. meander around the room and yeah. see what I can Why find. Why would I doubt that? Listen, your brain subconsciously registers points of interest around you. Yeah. If you concentrate, you can bring them up on one of your vision overlays. Try to imagine them as, I don't know, yellow dots? Hold A to highlight all objects in the scene. Oh, now that's a function I didn't know about. Or was this here before? I'm pretty sure it was here. Let me go back to here. A screwdriver, huh? Second most useful thing after a crowbar. All right, okay, got a screwdriver. Soul Witness, PHG-12 particle handgun manufactured by Slate Industries. It's almost completely silent, but lacks firepower. And I'm supposed to take care of that. All right. Wait okay. a second. I feel like I'm forgetting something. It's almost like I'm being guided by some invisible hand. Okay. Maybe I should take a closer look at those triangular nodes on the left before leaving. What? It didn't, no. I I'll look at that. Part of Irene's world, but this was the only instrument I've managed to master. Master? I did practice a lot. You did. Oh, I remember that, Mr. Pikes. I think everyone in this building remembers. Okay, so what is this? Ha, ha, that's it. The invisible hand never lies. Ah, oh, my invisible hand! It's always telling the truth, not the lies. What is this? Nod type A. Nodes, oh, node type A. I said nod for some reason. Nod, wake up! Nodes are utilized to enhance weapon and armor properties. To use them, a node bridge of the right type must first be installed onto the equipment, which is a job of an outfitter. Once you have a surgeon, a priesty, priestess, and an outfitter you can trust, you are all set. Unknown. Someone. Okie dokie. Anything else? Nope. Return. What else? That's the door. That's the door. What is this? Ugh. I can't even look at that right now. 
Come on, man, look at it. It's the best thing to do. Okay, let's look at the thing. Ollie, come on, just tell me the code. You know I can't, Mr. Pikes. I'm sure you use something to make your code up. You're not very good at starting from scratch. And I mean that on so many levels. Well, I already done the demo. I should have some knowledge. Jesus, what's wrong with me? Okay, uh, I think it was behind this. Irene. Mr. Pikes, do you know what moving on means? You should try it sometime. I did move on. We're good friends now. That's not moving Neighbors on. Neighbors too. Nope. Yes, your ex and her rich husband living right above you. Hmm. Talk and that's about a problem. healthy environment. You should throw this picture away and move someplace else while you're at it. You know, Irene did ask me to get rid of it recently. Someone told Arthur about it, and it made him furious. Remind me to do it... Later. Tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Okay. Ooh. What's this? Oh, I can rotate it and I can... Alright then, off you go. <laughs> Strange journey. Those were good days. Yes, two, three. Okay the best probably okay strange yes two three uh what's, what's the this picture Dorothy? looks kind of blurry and glitchy it's always been like that you bought the cheapest data panel on the market and a used one too no that's not it i think something's wrong with our access power grid maybe i should turn the panel off just in case turn it off there we go off off you fiend thing yeah, alright, let's... D My good old D12 storage unit. It's empty. And they almost talked me into buying a D24. Wow, okay, you should worry about that then. Okay, calendar. I remember taking those photos of Irene at our local club. Seven of and now look at her. Performing on the stage of Supernova. She looks pretty good. I guess I should be happy for her. Wow, it's yesterday all over again. Right, okay, uh, it was yes... Two, three. That does not help. Uh, actually, let me. Okay, no, open that. I need to go outside. I just see not my death. Not the best view in Nova, but at least I can hear Ollie from here. I think that was the last train for today. Oh, Gigi. Uh. Late, huh? Nasty. I heard Very this nasty. demon recently became active in parts around Nova. Just look at him. I could never understand people who go outside domes willingly. Okay. What is Nobody that? Nobody knows why demons never attack trains. Because they're so powerful that can it can destroy demons. You ever thought about that? No. Uh, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Thanks to that phenomenon, trains are the only way to move safely between dome cities. Maybe it's a bullet train. Probably that's why it does, kind of doesn't want to get in the way. It's a bullet. Mm. Oh, Axis domes have shielded us from demons for almost five centuries. What are the demons are we talking about? I forgot I about them. I don't remember the name of the woman who invented them. But we all owe her our lives. Helena! Or someone, I don't know. Well, that's not the name I know. Uh, I was just guessing. Okay, so... Strange Journey. Yes. Or Jess. Yes or Jess. Two, three, okay. Ah, uh, yes. Two, three. Um, help me, invisible hand. That's one of two alignment days, when Hades and Logan, both our stars, rise up and go down at the same time. Huh. It's a very significant day. A day, a day off. off! Exactly. Okay, uh, lovely hand, help me more. Okay, two, three, two, three, uh, how do I do this? So one, two, three, four, five, six, six.
five. How did I do the code last time? I know it's just two three. Just two three. So just so one two three four five six. That's six. One two three three. One two three four five. Oops. Okay. Uh. You do realize there are ten thousand possible combinations, Mr. Pikes. Well, I'm already late, so this might as well take my take time. A while. Yes, it will. My train has left me. Okay, I said yes. Just two three. Two three. Mr. Pikes. I don't like where this is going, but yes. Do you want me to call Novacore? What? Why? Because you set the security alarm. <laughs> That's why. Why would I do that while I'm home? Beats me. I see nothing here worth taking, including you. But you got drunk and started mumbling about how this Arthur guy from upstairs was after you, so... Ollie, I don't remember the code. Well, you did yesterday. Please let me out. No can do. Security protocol and all that. Come on, Ollie. You know I'm already late for work. Please. Let me think. No. Please disable the alarm first, Mr. Pikes. Or I'll have to call the police. Who knows what they'll say about that little outfitting shop you run here. Oh god. Not much of an assistant, are you? Hey, I am. You can always ask me for advice. I can't tell you the code, but I can help you figure it out. Menial tasks like that help me save some processing power. Oh, there she is. Oh, okay. I just need to go to the door. Right, okay, so Ollie. let me get this straight. You're using some date from your vacation with the woman who dumped you two years ago as a security code to your apartment? Come on, Ollie. It's just a code. Still, there should be four digits. Which month is Jess? I'm an advanced self-aware AI, Mr. Pikes. Consult your calendar for this. So, okay, it was just two, three. So, my guess is one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wait, hold on. Wow. Oh! I'm really impressed. It's that simple, Jesus Christ. I see that six years of Novian Institute of Science and Technology weren't wasted on you. Just wait till I come back, Alan. You'll see how much I learned in AI tuning class. Sweet. Now I can leave. All right. Time to set a running world record. I think you need to prepare yourself for a steeplechase, Mr. Pikes. Steeple... what? What the... What the Hades is this? Hades! What the Hades is this? Hades invaded my apartment the day before. Oh, wait, what? Oh. Come on, Ollie. You know it's me. Just let me in. What about all those repurposing threats? <laughs> I was just kidding. Having trouble, baby? Whoa. <laughs> hey, Irene. <clears throat> Please stop calling me baby. Come on, Naughty. Water under the bridge. Okay. More like a swamp. Shut up, Ollie. I'm fine, Irene. I just forgot my key at the factory. Would you like me to ask Arthur to get help from that creepy concierge of his? No, I don't want you to ask Arthur. I'll figure something out. See? Thanks, Ollie. Nod, wait. I need to talk to you about something. Would you... Would you like to come in? Not really, no. I have some damn fine Aresian wine from one of my clients. We could talk about old times. Like Not really. uh, when we finally bought those synthetic chords you wanted and me and Ollie tuned them wrong. <laughs> yeah, the disaster at Club 703. Oh, that's her augmented chord or whatever. On you her got throat. so upset and drunk that I had to carry you home. Nod. Yeah, sorry. What did you want to talk about? Did Arthur buy the whole building now and wants to evict me? It's related to him, yes. You know how he's uncomfortable with us being friends? What? Okay, yeah, 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 that's a bit understandable. It's totally not my problem. 
I understand. It's difficult for me too. He can be jealous sometimes. T too much of a jealous fella. Mm. Yes, That's like. an understatement. I know. We fight about it often. In fact, the last time was only a couple of days ago. It wasn't about you specifically. How about the photo? So nice to hear that. But it came up that you still have that photo from our vacation in Mira. And he got fixated on that. It wait, you can't be serious. Oh, wait. I double clicked by accident. Whoops. I am. Please, Nod. This is ridiculous. Nod, just get rid of that photo. Trust me, it's better this way. Much better. Irene? Oh, still. Irene, there you are. What? I knew I'd find you here. Nod. Arthur. Ollie. Ollie. <laughs> Having a pleasant conversation? Am I interrupting? Why talk here in the corridor? Go on. Have a drink at his place. He probably invited you. So what if I did? You controlling freak. Stop Ooh. it, Nod. You too, Arthur. Nod just forgot his key and needed help, but it's, it's fine now. We're leaving. Come on, let's go. You don't have to ask me twice. I came here for you, not the other way around. Uh, you know what would have been better? If it showed Nod and like Irene and Arthur showing up. It's like, not, not making a huge animation and stuff, just a still picture. And then Arthur shows up fading in. That would be cool. Nod, do what I asked you to. Please. Bye, Irene. I hate that guy. Lock up. Wait, what? Uh, hello? This is this is new. U7 Committee presents. I was kind of close in the name. The show the thing she has is a cord or whatever it's called. And yes, Nod does look at the picture, so you can't throw it away. Ooh, and what is Arthur walking on? Ooh, I want I want to. Oh, cool. Ah, oh, I remember how cool it sounded. The best intro for me so far. The best. Chapter 2. Maya. Who is Maya? Well, I hate he's in Logan. That's not something you see every day. Nope. I always knew the Royce building was a dump, but I never thought it would just start falling apart one day. The way to the passenger elevators is blocked. But Maya has a hover car. She often parks it outside her place to fill it up. I hope that she's at home. She can tell me what happened and give me a ride. And how could I have slept through that? Maybe Ollie's right and it's time to cut back on the drinking. The way is shut. I only have a synthetic arm. I'm not a bulldozer. I mean, who knows? Your arm could be a bulldozer. Mm. I remember seeing a hand of blood somewhere, but I can't seem to see it anymore. Unless I'm too blind. I think I see blood over here. Anyway. The way is shut. I only have a... Oh no, I have to... Blood? Shit. Is that... Is that blood? Is that a body under there? No way. It can't be. <sighs> Damn hangover. Dude, you're not hangover. Still, it's good to know that Irene is safe. She performs tonight. I hope Maya's Maya? fine too. I need to stop staring at this giant pile of rubble. No good will come of it. Okay, there's one more uh, pest. Once upon a time, I dreamt I was a butterfly. Or was it the other way around? Either way, I can't get through there now. That's an interesting joke you made. Okay. Nod. Maya. Barrels. Corridor. What is this? Barrels. Barrel! Piano! What is this? Having access stations like this in residential buildings is not quite legal, but I installed it anyway. Compared to my unregistered workbench, this is just a misunderstanding. Having a station like that is really convenient. We charge things without paying a single lot. That's cool. Switch box. It's locked. 
I think I left the key at Maya's. She's the one who usually asks me for help with this stuff. Uh, okay. Let's go back and go to my place. often forgets to lock her door. She's an artist. And a scatterbrain. Maybe it's the same thing. Maya? Maya! No response. Hope she's alright. She's crushed by the robo. That's my guess. Ah! It's Whoa. too bright. So bright. Maya? No reply. Oh, window filters work fine. No surprise there. I was the one who installed them. Come to think of it, Maya works me to the bone. So I hope she won't mind if I look around. Mm. Whoa, okay, that's a lot of stuff I didn't look. These tiny trees freak me out. There's something ugh, unnatural about them. That they'll kill you? Irene likes them though. Maybe I should have gotten her one. Dude, dude, stop thinking yeah. about your ex-girlfriend. Yeah, that's the paint thingy. What's that? What How can I? Something strange is going on. And why is Maya drinking? I thought she was pregnant. Okay. Ah, oh, this is the best. Outside domes, these species constantly jump between realities. I think. Okay. That's a mysterious looking dog. I didn't see that before, so that's a bit confusing for me. <laughs> I guess Maya paints all kinds of things. Okay, so... Maya keeps herself in shape. She's a nice girl, but she doesn't quite fit in. Bedroom? Maya! Are you there? Mm. Yep, she's I dead. she's just sleeping. I'll come back for her later. I think it's best to check on her, my friend. What is this? Hmm, seems to be a work in progress. Must be one of Maya's models. Poor clients. I can't see it very well, though. Maya doesn't have vision overlays, so I don't think she works like this. There must be some kind of light. Okay. Uh, Looks nice. I think it's from the dome city of Tali. Irene is from there, too. In fact, I think it was a gift from her to Maya. Oh, can you talk? Oh, Jesus. Okay, someone thinking about the... X is a bit too far. Even though how long he's been away from them. Okay, let's go over here. There we go. Ooh, looks cool. Let's get out of here. I just need to come down, and then it's a five-minute walk to the Novacore station. I don't know how to drive, but the autopilot should get the job done. It doesn't even start. Oh, come on. Damn it. Uh, interface might still work. Goodbye, peace and quiet. Mr. Oh. Pikes, I can't believe it. Are you finally taking me out? Nope. We're at home all the time. Yes, <laughs> I had something very special planned. Just help me fix the car and we'll get there. Well, the onboard battery is dead. Let's start with that. The cause is mechanical. Try looking around the car. Okay. That's the connector socket for the onboard battery. Right. Someone tried to rip it out. Maybe it was broken and Maya tried to fix it? Oh. Herself? Instead of using your cheap labor? I highly doubt it. And someone else. Besides, one would need to be freakishly strong to do something like that. Not? I'm gonna say not. Are you going to hold the wheel and pretend you're driving? This is a new low. Jesus. Okay, uh, so compartment. No compartment. Well, well, what have we here? A Pack. portable access container for storing access energy. I know what it is, Ollie. That was it's a battery pack. question. I wasn't sure, Mr. Pikes. Sometimes I worry you're losing touch with reality. Oh, you Jesus. worry too much, Ollie. One day I'll pick your blue box apart to know why. Anyway, Maya probably uses it to charge her paint guns. It's a cheap thing, but it might be useful. So I better hold on to it. Well, we know Maya's dead, because who else could be? Uh, alright, okay. I never admitted it to Maya, but the view from here is so much better than from my place. Screw that industrial charm. I want to see the inner district. The good life. People there are well off. 
And I installed this for Maya. And for uh, a couple of other Royce residents. Reaccess. If the car is low on fuel, I can use it. But I'll need to start Maya's limo first. This thing is illegal, of course. Just like the generator in the hallway. I'm this Dome City's Axis Vigilante. <laughs> okay. Close that for now. Uh, let's go back. I could use it to charge pack, but it's getting no juice. Okay. It's locked. I think she's the one I usually ask. Right. Uh, it's probably here somewhere. Okay, go back. Maya's room again. I checked everything, so. Wait, 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 wait. That's not the best huh. one. It's easier than I thought. Maybe I should start doing that instead of outfitting. Uh, uh, I'm gonna, okay, you know what? Beige, what, what can be beige? No, return. Um, oh. Well, at this point, <laughs> I already screwed up so much. Is, is it bad? It's horrible. Only future generations will tell. Yeah. Maya will probably kick me either way. Ah. There's a lamp. There's the key. It's a key to the switch box in the hallway. I started locking it after someone tried to handle fuses and burned one of them. It was probably Maya, though. Sweet. Got the key. That was a simple solution. Anyway. Back to that, to that. I'll pan Let's this. Let's take a look inside. If I want to mess with this thing, I need to turn my access vision on. I don't think it was happy with the implant at first, when they practically forced me to install it at the factory. But it turned out to be quite a useful overlay, especially for outfitting jobs. <laughs> my boss was right, for once. All right, press S. Okay. Uh, I want to rewrite power to my thing. Okay. So. Da -da. Oh wait, no, actually. Should okay. power up the station. Sweet. That's helpful. Back. Sweet. That works. Alright. Let's plug this thing in. How did that cable fit in there? That's a pretty fast charging. There. Sweet. A good pack is a full pack. Now I can try and start the onboard battery. And I know what's the actual problem since I played the demo. So, okay. Back to this. Car is over here. So thus, take that out. Take that out. Take put that in. That in. I that. think the pump charger on the balcony is on now. Sweet. Go back. Go to Maya's room. <sighs> I guess I cut off power to the entire apartment, so the filters are dead. Go. Toward the light. Yep, that's the only thing I can do. Let's plug this baby in and see how it goes. The onboard battery must be inside.
Do do. Oh, I should have made. Let's the start the sound. car and see if it worked. Let's see. Yes. Low refuel required. Damn it! Just my luck. The tank is empty. I told Maya a thousand times to never leave the car with the tank empty. There's something about you and women. It's like they just don't listen to you. I should <laughs> probably be offended, but it does feel that way. Yep. It's a good thing I installed an access pump for her and hooked it up to her power grid. I should be able to fuel the car with it. Okay. Good thing I rerouted it. Time to get this show on the road. Maybe I'll go see Irene at Supernova after I talk to the cops. And if you should call... It's no trouble, no trouble at all. It's okay. What Jesus. The? I think it came from the hallway. Damn it. The access is gone. I've got a bad feeling about this, but I need to check back on the panel. Overloaded it? Probably. Overload, huh? Something's definitely wrong with our access grid. And I guess my free lunch is over. I think I did manage to squeeze in a little. I need a good thing Ollie didn't hear that. She'd say this should be my life's motto. Yep. I'll need to... I'll need to come back and clear that up before Novacore androids start asking questions about this whole setup. Yeah, you should. Ah, okay, that's burning my eyes. Should be enough. All right, here's Let's the plan. The car will probably move just a few leagues, but we should be able to reach that balcony over there. It's a league? I don't know whose apartment that is, but it's supposed to connect to the cargo elevator hallway. The cargo elevator operates in a backup access generator. Oh. They'll be able to get down. And here I thought you were going to fly me to the moon. Here goes. That was so fast. I expected more. I warned you. And now I have to go. You're a selfish man, Mr. Pikes. Let's see if it's going to be my way out. Okay. Oh, god damn it. I keep exiting out. Okay. Open this. Open that. Sweet. Wow. And here I thought I was lower middle class. Okay. Looks like nobody was living here for a while. But I don't think this place was much nicer when they did. I'm still trespassing though, so it's probably best I move on. Okay, what's... Mattress and pillow are still fresh. Relatively speaking. Uh, what's that? Straight what? shape and painted floral patterns. This piece is probably from the Age of Expansion. I learned Ooh. this stuff when Irene was dragging me around Novi and flea markets. She wanted to redecorate my place when she moved in. Uh, anyway, this thing has given off a seriously bad vibe. I feel uneasy just looking at it. And I certainly don't want to touch it. Uh, bathroom's it's boarded locked. up. I couldn't get in there even if I wanted to. And I don't. Flower, lock, exit. Okay, what is this flower? Such delicate craftsmanship. Each flower must have cost a fortune. Strange to see something so beautiful in a place as run down as this. I actually have a feeling I've seen these flowers before. Let's take a closer look. <sighs> huh. I can't take them out. They're probably glued inside. Hmm. Nope. Still can't remember. How about to turn this on? You know, I don't think I ever got Irene flowers. Oh, she Jesus. never asked me to. Was I supposed to do it anyway? Maybe. I always thought she was happy enough. Okay, that's the only thing that's running power. A, a mechanical ladybug. I think it's part of that whole floral arrangement. There must be a charger for it hidden somewhere in the bouquet. Smart. And a little creepy. Okay, turn that off. Right. Bathroom. Da -da -da. This Thanks. place gives me the chills. In fact, this whole situation is starting to get on my nerves. Oh, yeah. I need from to get to the on. cargo elevator and leave Royce ASAP. Okay, from here on, I don't know what's going to happen. So everything I see, I have to check, check it thoroughly. That's the room. Cargo elevator. Locked Someone! 
Anyone? Either no one's home, or they don't hear me. Or maybe they just don't want to answer. I do that sometimes. Jesus, not how could you do Blinking that? Blinking light, not a good sign. And the elevator doesn't look like it's supposed to. I've got a bad feeling about this. Power, 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 okay. Well, Ooh, a bike. the good news is the backup generator still works. The bad news is that this crappy elevator is stuck between floors. And I have no idea how to repair it. I'm an outfitter, not an elevator mechanic. Damn it. I'm officially late now. I had a haze with it. I'll just call my boss and ask him to send Novacore over here. I wonder if I could get a severance package. What the? No connection? In this day and age? This just keeps getting better and better. Well, I've got nowhere else to go. Might as well look around. There must be a pod for Ollie here somewhere. Maybe she can help me make a call. Or get me out of here. Let's see. Elevator shaft, corridor, control panel. Go. Oh, I think I'm drooling. That's the best cyber cycle on the continent right there. I don't know anyone in this dump who can afford something like that. Except Arthur, of course. Yeah, it's Arthur's. I can't for the life of me imagine him riding a ghost. Okay, uh, artwork, crane, control panel. Leave it. I think I'm on the right track. Well, maybe not in the grand scheme of things, but I turned the right lever. Oh, there we go. Mr. Pikes, you found me. Do you want your prize now? Is this some kind of trap? I would never. No, I just want to invite you to my place. <laughs> what do you mean? Nothing inappropriate, so don't get any ideas. Do you remember the Thalamus synthetics you installed a while ago? Yeah, it was a requirement for the Axis Vision overlay. Right. Your Thalamus processes and relays sensory input, among other things. But there are also a couple of experimental protocols which allows you to use your upgrade in an unconventional way. Okay. For example, I can create a visual representation of my blue box's contents and show it to you. It's nothing like routine diagnostics. You will feel like you're there. Total immersion. So, would you like to take a look at my world? This sounds crazy, but all right. I'm stuck here anyway. Yay! Don't worry, we'll find a way out. In the meantime, don't say crazy until you've seen it. Oh, I didn't look at the crane and everything. Oh, boy. Welcome, <laughs> Mr. Pikes. What? I'm so glad you came. Can I say crazy now? Don't worry. You're just overwhelmed. You should look around. Try to learn a bit about my world. You'll get used to the place once you do. And then I'll let you go. Uh, what did you say? Oh, nothing. Just talking to myself. And then she'll let me go. Remember, mm, yes. most things here are renderings of something else entirely. They don't have any physical attributes in your world, but their design here reflects their properties. Okay. Yeah, enough chit chat. Explore away, Mr. Pikes. You can concentrate here if you need to, just like you did back at Royce. So I love hearts. That's not a good sign. Okay, uh, that. Flea book. White grass. What is this white the grass? grass here looks strange. Not that anything else doesn't. Why is it white? It's not grass, Mr. Pikes. It's fur of a cat I've boarded. Of course it is. I don't know how I didn't figure that out. It must be one big cat. Is this your alter ego or something? You think I'm riding myself? Nah, it's just a means of transportation. I call it the cat bus. And Capus. we're stowaways, so don't pet it too much. We should reach our destination soon. I'll make sure to let you know. Okay. I'll check is the this, flea. Is this a flea? Don't worry, Mr. Pikes. He's perfectly healthy. Uh, that's not what I'm worried about. Oh, he knows how to behave. You can send him to infiltrate another system. Or use him as a table. He's quite helpful, really. Okay, so I'll be using Ollie's world a bit then. Do you want to know his name? No. Well, maybe one day he'll tell you himself. Mm -mm. 
no, no. Are you actually book? reading this book, Ollie? No, of course not. I'm just trying to imitate the process, Mr. Pikes. I copied the contents to my memory long ago. This is Diaries of Elora, by the way. Entries from the Void. Would you like to hear my favorite passage? Sure. Uh, I guess. Oh, okay, fine. You're a sure I guess kind of guy, aren't you, Mr. Pikes? There was a creature in my usual setting, an interference in this dark and twisted duplicate of my reality, and I was drawn to it by its agonizing prayer for recognition. Thanks, Sil, I failed to perceive it. One can only fathom the depth of hatred and loneliness it projected. Interesting. This pitiful abomination was young and old at the same time. And its timeless existence in this forsaken land held no purpose whatsoever. But no means to end the torment were at its disposal. Sounds pretty grim. It is. Being trapped somewhere indefinitely is never easy. No matter the place. Oh, Why do you there. have pyramids flying around? Those are octahedra, to be precise. They're part of my data honeycombs. Honeycombs? Yes. Each octahedron carries a lot of information. But my storage space is limited, so I still have to closely pack them. Why do you need so much data? Oh, I only produced most of it today. AIs are constantly monitored, but our building went offline a few hours ago. So that's why my PDA is useless. I'm sorry, Mr. Pikes. Royce is completely silent. So I'm running some calculations while no one's listening. What are you trying to figure out? Don't worry, Mr. Pikes. I'll let you know the results soon enough. Well, now I am a little worried. Same. You of all people shouldn't be, Mr. Pikes. Okay, what, what is this orange? It's locked. What are you hiding there, Ollie? Girl stuff. Shoo! But you told me to explore away. Did you think I'd miss this huge hovering door? I only meant this space. What's outside is off limits. Strange. There shouldn't be any areas I'm not allowed to access. I'll need to check it out later. You'll forget unless I remind you. Would you? I'll remember it. <laughs> nope. Okay. The tour is over, Mr. Pikes. Did you enjoy it? I still think this is crazy. Same. At least now you know a little bit more about me and my world. Seems only fair since I know a lot about you. Again, a little worried. I'm sorry, Mr. Pikes. I'm just teasing. Anyway, there's one really important thing I need to show you, but I'm not quite there yet. I promise you'll be the first one to know. Maybe at my next platform. In the meantime, let me send you back. Just close your eyes and relax. You'll see I'm good at this. Okay. Now that's a bit weird, but hey, seems interesting. Welcome back to the real world, Mr. Pikes. Or that's what you call it. Aren't things dull here? Your world is just too weird, Ollie. But I admit, it was engaging. Engaging, he says. Mm, engaging. Then let's do this again soon. <laughs> we'll see. I need to find a way out first. I'm here to help, Mr. Pikes. Now that you've been to my home, I'll make sure to redouble my efforts. You mean you slacked off before? <laughs> Ollie's signing off. Oh, you don't. I think it's a touchscreen. I should be able to control the crane with it. You're very observant, Mr. Pikes. I thought we could watch movies on this thing. Turn this off. Oh, oh, okay, now that's what I wanted. Let's turn on. Make sure you go back. An electromagnetic crane to pick up and move metals. They use a magnetic field that is created by an axis current, and they're much stronger than natural magnets. You should try starting your own mesh net channel for kids, Mr. Pikes. Explaining technology, that sort of thing. But yeah. don't talk about yourself too much. You're not a very good role model. I agree with that as well. So a little bit of shit. Hmm. What if I tried to reach the next floor from the top of the elevator? I don't think I can get to the ladder without clearing the way first. Let's try moving those boxes. One, two, three. 
I think my hands are wet. I can't get friction. The gym is right around the corner, Mr. Pikes. <laughs> they can help you dry your hands. Ah, okay. Right to the control panel. Right, okay. Oh, wait. move it with an electromagnetic crane but I do need it out of the way to go up oh I could do this wooden box but I do hey Wait, there was a rope. rope I think I'll hold on to it never know when you might need one thinking about tying me up mr. Pikes what why Logan where did that come from oh come on mr. Pikes there's no need to play shy I know you like that sort of thing okay I've got access to your mesh net history you know but it's going to be our first date so maybe you should keep that rope to yourself for now. Mr. Right. Pikes, are you listening? Mm. I got a rope. Maybe if I tie this large box to the ghost, I can lift it. Careful now. Don't want to leave a mark on the bike. All right. Let's test my engineering genius. The box is too heavy, Mr. Pikes. The rope will snap. Aha. So you admit it's too heavy to move. Yeah, yeah. You're physically fit, bright, and funny. And you can call me mom from now on. <laughs> uh, can I untie this? It's a wooden oh. box, but I... Okay, I'm gonna break that. One way or another. And there you go. The way is clear. A bunch of android wig holders. I think I've messed up Arthur's delivery. Serves him right for ignoring fire safety regulations and blocking the exits. Why do you think he needs all this stuff? I bet those are sex dolls. Excuse the bastard's me? cheating on Irene! I wonder if sex with an android is considered cheating. Anyway, Arthur is a neuroscientist with a second degree in advanced robotics. A little bird told me he has a huge lab in the building. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but those are probably his lab rats. Oh god, okay. Anywho how? Let's get out of here before he notices. Run for it! Wow, I'm in an elevator shaft. My boss won't believe it when I tell him. Seriously, he won't. And that over there must be the door to the next floor. Hopton family penthouse. Shouldn't be hard to reach, but it's closed. There must be a way to open it from the inside. I just need to find it. Hmm, hmm. I guess that's a lock for the door. Fat chance there's a key just lying around, of course. 
but it looks quite simple, so maybe some other object will do. Something I could fit in there. The door is easy to reach, but it's close. I don't know what I expect. Okay, I think I might know. I might know what it, it can be ish. Uh, I can't grab those heads. I understand that few things are as fun as moving stuff around, Mr. Pikes. But I suggest you leave before you accidentally block the exit again. Okay. Alright, uh, power, power, power. Drop keyhole. Alright, I need to go back and go to the corridor again. Maybe that'll help. Someone probably tried to call the elevator here, or got off on this floor, but it got stuck. At least the door is opened. Still locked. This calms me down for some reason. Okay. Um. Did I forget to grab something? Uh. Ollie, I need a lockpick. Did you decide to rob Arthur? Talk about pulling out all the stops. I'd love to, but at this rate, I won't even be able to get to his penthouse. I needed to open elevator doors on this floor. I can only suggest that you search the premises for something suitable, Mr. Pikes. And if you can't find anything, try using your access vision. Abnormalities in access flow can indicate structural weaknesses. Maybe your lockpick is a part of something else at the moment. Oh. You know, she never. I always. You know, she, you know, she never. I, this one's not getting any access. It's probably damaged. Maybe I could break it off and use it as a lockpick. That's a shame, though. I feel like a vandal destroyed. Damn it! I'll make sure to come back and repair it. I promise. So much for not wanting to set foot in this place again. Well, now I did, and I broke it. So let's go with that. At least that helped out. Huh? With um, Ollie's suggestion. I mean, it is quite straightforward, actually. There we go. Using a masterpiece as a lockpick. Here's to the dreamers. Here's to the night. Here's to the stars that shine in your eyes. That's like now arriving on top floor, rich bastards with an attitude. <laughs> well, that is true. Keep moving in all directions but down. So this is what the penthouse floor looks like. It's just one above mine, but it seems to make all the difference. Let's go. Ooh, okay, it looks way different. Mm, that's, that's... Sounds like some kind of machinery, but I can't see it from here. I wonder what it's doing in the atrium. You know... Up until this moment, I was hoping to come across any living soul. But now, I kind of hope that nobody's home. Knock, knock. Huh, it's not locked. When did Royce folks stop locking their doors? Interesting. No wine, no present. I come empty-handed. Maybe I should have grabbed one of those android heads along the way to throw at Arthur. Well, here goes nothing. Okay. Three months ago. Oh, I'm going back into the past. Don't mind the mess, sweetheart. Uh, once we install those huge tanks. Are you seriously trying to call me sweetheart? But why? What's wrong with that? It's ten years too late, that's what. Or did you just forget my name? So feisty. And to think your mother was the epitome of kindness. From whom do you get it? I don't know. My nanny? Thea. Listen to me. I'm sorry that I neglected your upbringing. Fifteen, what's the definition for neglect? Okay, that's a Japanese android. Verb. Fail to careful. That's not quite accurate. You should choose your words more carefully, Arthur. Ah. Let's see. We need something that says to not be present at all. How about... <sighs> no. 
to be absent. Hi, Subarashi. Okay. It's a bit worrying that her head is android or machine and his body is human. Dia san, o benkyo no ho sugoku ganbatte iru ndesu yo. I can see that. I'm quite happy for her. Okay, it seems like it's auto translation this era as well. On the end and in the future. Are you daddy? I just thought you wouldn't leave me again if I'm good enough. Thea, can we please stop this nonsense? You're unbearable. I understand that no apology would make up for what I did, or rather, didn't do. But you should know that I intend to be here for you from now on. Well, didn't you say you're bringing in tanks? So you're locking her up in the tank? Lucky me. As much as I look forward to all that smothering, it's time for my piano lesson. So if you'll excuse me, let's go, Fifteen. Bye, Arthur. Goodbye, sweet Thea. I mean, <sighs> mentor. Wait, I need to talk to you alone. Hi, Hobdon-sama. Do you, do you know what happened to Thea's mother? Thea-sama no oka-sama wa shusan chokugo ni nakunatte iru to ukagatte orimasu. Correct. I want you to search your conversation log. How often does Thea talk about her mother? Hmm. Claire Hopton, Gaito Nashi. Haha. Sono ta douyo, Gaito Nashi. I see. That is unfortunate. Update your routines. I want you to draw Thea out on the subject. You can use our family archive to choose topics for discussion. Report to me weekly. The goal is to make Thea remember her mother more often, in a good way, of course. Shoshimashita, kadai, mokyo, kakuni itashimashita. Good. I need to get going. Workers will be here soon. Make sure to instruct them on how to set up the tanks. Kashikomarimashita. Gokiyen yo, Hopton-sama. Hmm. Interesting. Fifteen. Fifteen. Is he gone? Hi. What did you two talk about? You mean you're not allowed to say? Well, whatever. Let's go already. I've been practicing Demon's Lament Etude. Prepare to be amazed. This exercise was a pain, though. I think it should be called Thea's Lament from now on. Thea-san, wait for this room. What did you want to make this room? Do you remember what you want to make? Yeah, unfortunately. Father was going on and on about those huge fish tanks. Why? Hi. Gohon no kyodai na enchu jo no suiso yoi suru to no koto. Zuibu impact na ru kozo nari sou desu ne. Anata no otou sama ga nase koko ni aquarium o setsu shiou to omoi tatta no ka. Ah. Dou yara kai sui de mitashita aquarium o koko ni setsu suru you de, sono naka ni wa samazama na kaiyo seibutsu ga oyogu ra shin desu. Anata no okua sama wa kaiyo seibutsu gakusha datta de shou? のちにホフトン夫人となった奥様はこのようなアクアリアムをお家の中に作ることを心からのぞんでいましたですがティアさまのご両親はそのような贅沢ができる環境下にはなかったのですこのアクアリアムこそが御主人様から奥様への愛
And it doesn't look fancy at all. Uh, isn't this like where they were building tanks or something? Must be Irene's room. <laughs> Just kidding. Looks like some kind of storage. I think my whole apartment could fit in here. Okay, anyway. Is that a saving icon? Yes, it is a saving icon. I might stop here. So... So far, Minotaur is pretty... It's getting quite good. I don't know how many chapters they are for Nod. So it'll be interesting how many episodes you'll last and have to wait for a major update for another character. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Minotaur. Hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, there'll be more coming in a few weeks time. Because yeah, you know, you know me. Doing random stuff. I don't know what I'm talking about. Something's wrong with me. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, I don't know why I'm saying that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Oh, this was the one that was the trailer. Okay. I was wondering where that one went.